one of these Linux distributions is secretly the productivity king. In this video, we are putting Linux Mint and Pop OS head to head to find out which one truly deserves the crown for productivity. From installation to real world performance, customization to daily workflow, we are testing it all. Let's get started. Let's first start with the introduction. Choosing the right Linux for productivity. When it comes to Linux distributions, known for their simplicity and ease of use, Linux Mint and Pop OS are often top of the list. Both are beginner friendly, stable and comes with sensible defaults. But which one excels when it comes to getting work done efficiently? Whether you are a developer, a student or someone switching from Windows or Mac OS, choosing the right distro can shape your entire productivity experience. Now, installation and first impressions. Starting with the installations, both Linux Mint and Pop OS offer clean graphical installers that are initiative even for first-time users. Linux Mint uses the Ubiquiti installer, while Pop OS offer custom installer developed by System76, which feels modern and streamlined. Upon first boot, Linux Mint welcomes you with the classic Cinnamon desktop offering a familiar layout for former Windows users. Pop OS, on the other hand, uses a customized GNOME desktop with tiling Windows support, immediately signaling its focus on multitasking. Out of the box, Mint comes with productivity essentials like LibreOffice, Firefox, and some multimedia tools. Pop OS also ships with the LibreOffice, Firefox, and a few helpful utilities but it places more emphasis on performance and minimalism, leaving the rest for you to install. Now, productivity applications, a head-to-head -head comparison. When it comes to productivity tools, both distros support the full spectrum of Linux software, from office suits and web browsers to IDEs like VS Code or JetBrains products. Linux Mint gives you a well-integrated experience with its X apps, which are lightweight and efficient for everyday use. It's perfect for users who just want things to work out of the box. Pop OS, however, stands out with features like auto tiling, high DPI support, and better GPU integration, making it a favorite among developers and power users. Both distros allow you to easily install tools like Slack, Zoom, GIMP, or even Docker with just a few commands or via the software center. But Mint's software manager feels a bit more beginner oriented, while Pop OS Pop Shop leans towards a clean, minimal design with a focus on flatpak apps. Now, performance and customization, exploring the limits. In terms of performance, both Mint and Pop OS are lightweight compared to Windows, but they serve different audiences. Linux Mint is incredibly efficient, with lower RAM usage at ideal and faster boot times on older hardware. It's ideal if you're running on a modest system. Pop OS, while slightly heavier, leverages system resources more effectively during multitasking. Its auto tiling window manager is a game changer for those who work with multiple apps and terminals simultaneously. Customization is another strong suit. Mint's Cinnamon Desktop lets you tweak everything, from themes and icons to panel behavior and hotkeys. Pop OS offers fewer tweaks with GNOME by default, but advanced users can unlock deeper customization with GNOME extensions or by installing alternative desktops. One standout feature in Pop OS is its hybrid graphics support, which is excellent for laptop users who switch between integrated and dedicated GPUs, a small but impactful boost for creative professionals and developers. Now finally, the conclusion. The verdict for productivity power users. So which Linux distro takes the productivity crown? 
Choose Linux Mint if you prefer a familiar desktop experience, work on modest or older hardware, want stability and simplicity with little setup. Choose Pop OS if you multitask, heavy and value tiling window management and are a developer, designer or a power user needing hardware acceleration and want modern UI elements and efficient performance on newer hardware. Ultimately, both are exceptional, but your ideal pick depends on how you work. Have you tried Linux Mint or Pop OS? Drop your experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear how each performs for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Linux comparisons and productivity tips. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.